Yeah, the, the best way to help children grieve is really to be there for them, listening to them when, when they have questions, answering them honestly. That is a really critically important thing I cannot stress enough is that you need to be honest with your children, answer the questions honestly. That creates trust in you and what you're telling them. You are a role model. It's okay to cry in front of your children. In fact, I encourage it because your child is watching you and they are looking to you to see how do we greet. Obviously, if you're hysterical and you're having a moment, maybe that's a moment. You know, I'm not saying hysterical moments in front of kids, but I do think that, you know, really modeling that it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay, okay to feel guilty. Whatever, and I would say also if your child expresses those emotions, validating those, really telling your child whatever you're feeling is okay and you are free to tell me or talk to you know, a trusted adult or about how you're feeling. You know, I think that those are really, really critically important things. One of the things that we do and a lot of centers around the country do is what something is called peer support groups. And those are important long term. Those are not as much about parenting as they are about knowing about the child not feeling as alone in their grief. A lot of major cities around the country, if you go to the National Alliance for Children's Grief website, childrengrief.org, you can get information about your local area and what grief supports there are. Many of those offer both support for the caregiver or parent, so you can get support in what you're going through, as well as you can get support for your child in those peer support groups particularly for adolescents and teens, you know, it can feel, feel very isolating to be maybe the only one or only one of a few in a school who's lost a parent at a certain age. And so those groups can, can really support, support children. That's what we do at Uplift Center for Grieving Children, Philadelphia. And then you can also always call a lot of these organizations around the country, too, and just get tips about ways to support your child. Maybe if your child's been acting out, you know, working with, like, with the school counselor, but also maybe an outside agency that, that supports children who are grieving and and how to best parent in certain moments or best ways to handle anniversaries and and things like that. But really it's, it's just engaging a dialogue, knowing that your child may grieve differently from you as well. That's another important thing to know too, that families grieve differently each and every member. So just leaving space for each other and respecting how each, how each of you is experiencing and talking about the person who has died. 